Let's have a big round of applause for John Abley. We are made up of tubes. Uh, there are arteries, there are veins, there are the GI tract, the urological tract, and lots of others. And our whole basis was, hey, we can stick a catheter in there for a diagnosis. Hey, maybe we can actually fix things as well. So this was, what you see on the screen, basically the vision and mission of the company. We're going to develop technology that leads to products, that leads to procedures that reduce risk, trauma, cost, and time. And we figured it's not, it's not a product company. It, it's a smarts company. We're a problem solver. And we're looking at what people are doing and how to solve it. And then, along the way, uh, this is sort of uh, preparing to be lucky. Uh, turns out Johnny Carson, and I don't know how many of you remember Johnny, but uh, basically when he went on his late night comedian show, he would always swing a golf club. He, he was a golfing fanatic. And it turns out he had something uh, called intermittent claudication of the legs. His blood vessels in the leg were so narrowed that when he walked and exercised, he couldn't get enough blood to the lower extremities, and he could only walk about a hundred, one or two hundred feet before the pain was just intense. Well, he goes on The Tonight Show and said, I'm going to have it fixed. I got to got to do this because this is my life. I've got to play golf. And he's talking to his partner, Ed, there, and he said, they are planning to do an operation, but they told me they're going to try out something ahead of that, and it's going to be a catheter procedure. Now, normally, if I have the operation, I'll probably be back in six to eight months. That's sort of the recovery time. If I have this catheter procedure, I might be back earlier. He was back two nights later. Every vascular surgeon's phone in the country started ringing off the hook, saying, I want one of those Carson jobs. Today, actually, we're, I thought we were 22,000 employees, but I called up before I came. We're actually 26,000. And we do. We have 15,000 windchill uh, users in the company. The lessons are you don't change a culture from inside. Uh, the change agents have to be outside. They may be in the field, but they're not going to be the big leaders. They've got to come from outside. And a lot of diversity, whether it's in your customer base or, or in your uh, staff or employees, is really essential, particularly today with the rate of change so, so rapid. And, and by the way, it took almost 20 years for, live, uh, for less invasive medicine to really get adopted. So that's patience.